If you're among the nearly 30% of Americans who wait until the last minute to file their taxes, listen up. The IRS wants you to be on the alert for some major tax scams out there. IRS Commissioner Daniel Warfel joins me now to talk about it. Okay, Commissioner, what are a few of the big ones you've been seeing? Let people know what they should be on the lookout for. Well, first of all, it's tax season, and that's when a lot of the bad actors do come out of the woodworks. And they have promises for you, promises of fake tax benefits, and they have threats for you, threats of fake tax penalties. And I urge taxpayers to, to be aware, to get educated, and to learn the warning signs. So how do you differentiate an actual IRS employee from a scammer? Somebody might sound professional. They might sound like they know what they're talking about. Are there some things that an IRS representative would never do or say? Absolutely. Look, for me, I always think about if someone is reaching out to you out of the blue, that's an issue and it's likely a scam. And here's what I mean by that. If the IRS has a question for you or a concern, we're going to send you a letter to your home or business. So if you're seeing an email or a text or getting a phone call and it's out of the blue, very likely a scam. When they're reaching out to you, these scammers out of the blue, they will often demand immediate payment. That's something the IRS doesn't do. You have plenty of notice if a payment is due. They will threaten immediate legal action. Or for example, we're going to bring in local police. That is something the IRS would never do. And they'll demand payment in a certain way. So if you get a phone call or a text and they're saying, pay the IRS by, for example, a prepaid debit card, it's not the IRS. It's a scam. So this year's tax filing season also brings a kind of an overhaul, right, online. Uh, tell us about it, what people can look for, and honestly, has it been going smoothly so far? Look, we are having one of the best filing seasons we've had in years, especially from a customer service standpoint. Our phone line is operating at peak efficiency. We've got the wait time down to three minutes this filing season. We've served more people in our walk-in centers than we ever have in history. And as you mentioned, we've updated IRS.gov with a lot of new tools. And as a result, we're seeing record traffic to our website. And all of this is intended to try to help taxpayers make the filing season as smooth and as easy as possible. We only have 30 seconds or less, but if you're one of those folks who just isn't going to get it done in the next three days, what's the most efficient way to let the IRS know? Go to irs.gov, search extension in the search box. We'll bring you right to the extension form. It'll walk you through the simple steps. The big thing to remember, though, is you can get an extension for filing, but not for paying. And if you owe a balance and you can't afford to pay it, right there on the form, instructions for how to get an installment agreement. I'm going to say I took notes on that for a friend. Uh, Daniel right. Werfel, the IRS commissioner. Thank you. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.